says it's a 50-50 chance that Hoosiers could vote on whether to make marijuana legal by the next presidential election. And it's all because of a question Representative Sheila Klinker asked the head of the Indiana State Police this morning. Paul Whitesell's response, if it was up to him, he would legalize and tax marijuana. I was. I was surprised and shocked, and so were the other members of the committee. Sheila Klinker wasn't ready for the response she got in a state budget committee hearing Tuesday morning. She says State Police Superintendent Paul Whitesell bases his answer on analyzing data and talking with law enforcement in other states. When the head of the state police tells you he thinks it should happen, uh, I think I have to listen and certainly be open to discussion. Plinker says especially if it's tightly controlled and taxed. And there could be bipartisan support building. Democratic Senator Karen Tollian has introduced a bill in the past that would decriminalize marijuana. And Republican Senator Brent Steele says he would be open to the idea as well. Plinker says more study is needed on the issue, but in the long run, it could save the state money. It's time to look at this issue since the rest of the country is looking at it and determine whether it's right or wrong for Indiana. Plinker says the biggest roadblock on the issue may be the House, where there are a number of new members and elections are every two years. They would, I think, have some fear of maybe an election process uh, going negative. Clinker is certain that if the issue gains traction and passage, it will be put before the voters in a referendum, like the states of Colorado and Washington earlier this month. Zero to 100, what the percentage chance you think that there will be a voter referendum issue about marijuana in Indiana in the next four years? I would say perhaps 50 percent. So you're pretty positive. You think there will be a voter referendum? I issue? think there might be, yes. And even then, it may only be a 50-50 proposition that a referendum would pass. If uh, our countries want more money by this way, I think it's wrong. It's going to have better chances of spreading it further with down to our children's children and my grandbabies don't need that. If people are over 21 and it's regulated and taxed, I, I honestly wouldn't care. I think legalization is a step beyond what I would be comfortable with. Sheila Klinker says one of the biggest questions to figure out is the relationship between any changes in state law versus changes in federal law where marijuana is illegal. She also adds regardless of what happens, it will have no effect on Indiana's ban of synthetic marijuana, also known as K2 or SPICE.